What is up, homies? My name is Felix, and I am here back again with another video for you all today. And this one is going to be pretty exciting and pretty dope, I think. So basically, you may have seen the title of the video, but I got a slide guitar slash steel guitar slash lap steel slash whatever you want to call it. I basically just decided to get this because I was looking at like some cheap um, musical instruments that I could possibly buy, and this one was around like 85 bucks. And I actually ended up paying less than 85 for it anyways, so that's a pretty good deal um, My main thing with it at first is that I was like I literally have no idea how to play this But however, I did figure it out and it's actually super easy So anybody can really play it if they want to you know It just takes a little bit of practice um, And you just have to tune it the right way and you'll be pretty much good to go But yeah before I show you guys the whole thing basically today I'm gonna be using it to make a beat a steel guitar lap guitar slide guitar Whatever you want to call a resonator type beat inside FL Studio and it's gonna be a pretty fun little bonanza today. So yeah, make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below, along with the playlist of songs I produce, my beat store, my Discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you guys want to. And also I've been doing a podcast with my boy Cyruson. So if you want to check that out, it's pretty interesting. We just talk about a bunch of stuff. If you wanna, you know, get to know me a little bit better and you know get to you know hear me talk or whatever, you can go over there and check that out. That'll be in the description as well. But yeah, now I can show you guys this thing right here. But yeah, basically I have this. Um, this is like a, a ceramic uh, whatever kind of thing to slide. So this is what I've been using to play it with. I think usually people use like an actual like metal thing, which is why it's called like a steel guitar. I'll show you guys it up a little bit closer. Um, so basically on the bottom here, uh, there is little things that screw in. And as you can see, they're kind of like at an angle so that it can stand up. Uh, it's got like a tripod kind of shape. Uh, and they're really easy to take off so I can just unscrew them and then I can put it on my lap if I want to and play it that way Which is pretty swagger without the legs on it looks like this. It's pretty compact actually. Uh, it's pretty dope pretty swag um, I can sit it on my lap if I want to like this and play it like that It also came with a little case, which is pretty dope So if I want to you know if I got a gig or something if I got a little performance that I want to do I can toss it in this case but yeah, essentially these are the tuning things. I'll talk about the tuning more in a second. Um, this down here, this is where you plug it in. So yes, you can plug it into an interface and stuff or an amp, which is awesome. That's you know how I'm gonna be recording it today. And it's literally like as clear as a mirror. You can see like the camera and everything. It's pretty wild. So basically the way the tuning works is that it's usually tuned to an open tuning, which for those of you who don't know, in open tuning is when you play all the strings and it'll sound good. So if I play it right now, as you can hear, it sounds good, but it's tuned specifically in a way that I liked it to sound. So I tested out a bunch of different tunings, um, and there's like a million different open tunings. And the way I have it tuned right now is C6 tuning, which basically is like a very like Hawaiian tropical kind of tuning, as you could hear by that chord. And with open tuning, the cool thing about it is that I can move the slide anywhere along here, and it'll make a nice chord and I don't have to worry about you know like with guitar normal guitar you have to like play a chord and stuff this you just put the slide on it and just whoop, 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 whoop. but yeah basically now we're gonna hop into FL studio and I'm gonna record the sample and then put some drums over it and see how we can get it to sound so here I am in FL studio now and the way that we're gonna do this is you know it takes a couple different steps here so the first thing that I'm gonna need is an interface so obviously I have an interface and once I have the interface I'm going to need a cable and I'm gonna need a cable which has an end that looks like this. Basically, this is the size cable that's like a little bit bigger than a normal headphone jack, and you're going to take it, plug the one end into your interface, and then the other end is going to be plugged right into this bad boy where I showed you guys earlier. So the next step of the process here is we're gonna go to our mixer track and go to insert one, and then we're going to go up here and then click in one. And now I'm just gonna play it a little bit so you can hear just how beautiful it sounds. Doesn't that just sound amazing? Doesn't that just remind you of like a Hawaiian beach setting or something like that? I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a better angle. I'm gonna give you a hand cam or something. All right, so you guys can't see my face right now, but just imagine that you can. And I'm gonna go to Edison and just do that. And then I'm going to hit record. And now I'm gonna play a little thing on the guitar. But yeah, I'm just gonna play a simple little melody and that's what we're gonna use for today. All right, so that's what I think I'm gonna use. Uh, we're gonna see how we can like chop that and stuff to make it sound good. 
and now I'm just going to keep playing it over and over and then I'm going to see if I can maybe record some stuff over top of it. Alright, so before I really go any further, I'm going to figure out the tempo of this whole sample thing. And since I'm not like a human metronome, I didn't play it completely perfectly, so I'm going to go in and slice a little bit um, by just, you know, alternating between this little tool and making certain parts unique. So I'm going to go do that right now. Alright, so I'm just realizing that my timing with the sample is like way off. So I'm basically just going to re-record it, but it's going to sound like essentially the same, except for just like I'm going to play it with a metronome and stuff, so it's going to be, you know, much cleaner. All right, so after a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears, I redid the melody, and it sounds like this. But yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick some drums to throw on there. They're probably gonna be like more of like old school slash lo-fi drums, because you know, trap drums really wouldn't work too well with this. And then I'm gonna play the drums on the drum pads because I think that's, you know, just gonna give it a better feel overall. All right, so we got a little bit of a basis for the drums so far. We got these sounds. And I'm gonna change those around a little bit. I'm gonna quantize certain parts manually, but for now, this should be good. So I like the way this sounds so far, but it's not fully where I want it yet. I want the melody to be very like ethereal and like atmospheric. So I'm gonna put uh, a plugin called, I think it's just called Atmosphere or something like that. It's called Ambiance, Ambience, whatever you wanna say. Uh, but yeah, that's what the plugin's called. I'm gonna put that on there. That's a nice little reverb. I might put some chorus on there and I'm definitely gonna put some RC20 of some sort on there. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with the melody. That's probably what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I put some effects on the melody and now it sounded nice and beautiful. Sounds like this. So yeah, I probably could have put some like guitar rig or something, or I could have like plugged it into my own amp and then plugged my amp into the interface to make it sound a little grungier and more realistic. But you know, this is fine for how it is. I like that kind of clean sound anyways. All right, so now I want to put like a funky kind of bass line over this, and I'm going to probably use like hybrid or something like that for the bass. All right, so I added the bass and it's starting to sound pretty good now. I think I'm going to add maybe a lead or something. I'm going to just try that out and see how it works. But if not, I'm just going to scrap that idea. So I tried to add the lead, but it was just not going well for me so I think I'm just gonna keep it simple here but the last couple things I'm gonna do are I'm gonna lay out the beat for one and then two I'm going to drag in an acapella from one of my favorite songs of all time and I think that's gonna sound pretty dope and you know it's kind of that thing that they do a lot of times with lo-fi beats all right, so at this point in time, I have spent way too long on this beat. I have spent a lot of time trying to perfect it and make everything perfect, because you guys know how I am. Gotta have everything be perfect. Let's see the project time for this. I have spent two hours and five minutes on this track. Basically what I did was I brought in the acapella, and then with the acapella, I basically structured the rest of the beat around that, and then I also cut out certain points of the acapella, so it's very out of order from the original song, but I basically just kind of made like a little chorus, and then I made like a verse, and then I made another chorus come in and it's super, super simple, nothing too crazy. Right here I have some tape stop effects and then I have a, like a degrade thing which is pretty cool, and then uh, and then all of the hi-hats cut out early, and some of them cut out really early to give it kind of like a cool little stopping effect. And then I took the main steel guitar melody and I pitched it down an octave, so it's like a lot lower, and I have that play at certain parts, and then, you know, I just take out the lead at certain parts, and pretty much that's about it. That's how I made the beat. It's pretty short and sweet. It's only about like two minutes, but I have like a freaking boatload of effects on everything. Um, well, specifically the melody and the vocals. So basically with the melody, I have um, compressor on both of them, and then I have some Azerite, and then I have ambiance, ambience, whatever you wanna call it, and then I EQ'd it, and this one has some, some fancy delay on it, um, same as the vocals have some fancy delay, but the vocals also have sound goodizer, reverb, and EQ. And yeah, that's pretty much how I made the beat. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. This was a fun one to do. Uh, it was a little bit different from my usual stuff, because if I do lo-fi, I usually don't put like a, you know, acapella in there, but I think it added a nice touch, and it gives it that cool vintage kind of effect. So yeah, make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below, along with my playlist of songs I've produced, my beat store, my Discord. If you want to go check those out, you may, and I will see you guys next time.